Robin, congratulations on this movie. This is an honor. Just wanted to let you know, my husband actually spoke with you earlier and he mentioned the aspect ratios. And I think you guys talked a little bit about Forrest Gump. That was my husband, Kevin. So get out of here. He was so great. I love that that was just out of the gate, the aspect I ratio. I was like, no one's ever talked about that. <laughs> I know, isn't he, 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 he geeks out about that stuff so much. Um, so anyways, congratulations on this movie. My best friend, Lauren, also named Lauren and I have been texting about it because she's also a film critic. And we just have been texting nonstop about it. Um, I, you know, Edie's past is revealed throughout the film and like what has happened to her. I'm curious for you and your performance if you put any subtle things in there to kind of maybe show what happened in her past before it's revealed. I mean, for example, when she's struggling to shoot the deer with the gun, I'm just curious anything else subtly that you put into the performance that the audience may not have picked up on. Whew, I wouldn't even know. Gosh, I, I guess I need to do an inquiry into that because we had more scenes that we shot of this person's past, like what happened and what that life was like. Wow. And it just took you out of the movie in the mm -hmm. edit. And we wanted to just streamline it and make this journey move like a juggernaut, yeah. right? But still keep the, the viewer engaged to go along this journey with this woman and see how she comes out. And it's so uplifting at the end where she comes out in the end with the help of this beautiful man that comes to her life. Yes, and I love the way you did it. And I loved how everything was set in regards to not showing too, too much of the past. And of course, it just makes so much more sense with Miguel's friendship. We all need a Miguel in our lives. I'm curious who that Miguel is in your life. You know, the circumstances obviously are not as dire as Edie's, but I'm curious just watching this movie. I'm like, oh my gosh, like that's my best friend, Lauren, you know, talking to me. Like we're all having such a hard time being in lockdown. Who's that person in your life right now? I mean, don't we, we all have have one or two Miguel's in our life, I know. right? Yes. We have to, and that's, <laughs> that's what this movie just, it resonated with me so deeply about that is how, how we have to have each other. Mm -hmm. We need to be there for, uh, for each other, no matter what okay. to get through. And when we're facing adversity or um, we can't do it on our own. No, no, you have to have friends in your life. Um, I, you know, I was speaking to Damian and just the scenery and atmosphere in Alberta, Canada is a huge character within itself. I love Alberta. Some one of my favorite shows, Winona Earp is shot there. I'm curious, what was the biggest challenge in shooting in beautiful Alberta? I'm sure the best was the natural scenery, but what was just the biggest challenge for you as a director in filming there? It was all of our challenge. <laughs> it was <laughs> The crew were incredible, the, the Calgary film crew, just amazing, so experienced with this kind of unpredictable weather pattern that Alberta delivers. Um, it was just being on your toes. I don't even think we followed um, a call sheet schedule ever because we'd get it all down. Okay, tomorrow we're gonna shoot summer scenes. And then we'd wake up in the morning and there'd be three feet of snow on the ground. Wow. Out of the blue. So we'd have to change the schedule and go get into year two look and get on your after ski boots. And we're going to shoot the end of the movie now. So we were constantly having to juggle. Because wow. I weather. didn't think about that as an unpredictability factor. Well, they're wrapping me. Congratulations on the movie. I absolutely love the beautiful sunset scene where you guys sing. Everybody wants to rule the world. It touched me so much. And again, <laughs> like the whole movie just touched me so much and it made me think of my friends. So thank you so much for this, Robin. And I hope oh, you're safe out there. <laughs> thank you so much. Thank you. Have yes. a good one. Hi, Damian. It's Lauren. We talked to with about Midnight Sky about two yeah, months ago. Yeah. How are you, Lauren? Yes, yes, we are still here in lockdown together. Um, congrats, yeah, uh, already, yeah. I think, no, I think that's that's the way it should be because if, if we are not gonna really help, let's stay away from everybody's, you know, way so we can help. Yes, and this is the best like social distancing movie ever. Congratulations on Land, I absolutely loved it. Thank I mean, you. first of all, I loved the character you played, Thank Miguel, you. I thought that everybody needs a Miguel in their lives. And <laughs> I, I honestly do. I particularly loved the scene with you and Robin and there's this beautiful sunset and you guys are singing, everybody wants to rule the world. I'm honestly just curious, take me back to that particular day of filming because it seemed like such a genuine scene. And I'm honestly just wondering how the two of you created that, that moment together. 
I, I couldn't agree more. You know, that's that's one of my favorite moments of the film. Yeah. Uh, it just it just it, it was almost created because of that same reason, you know, because uh, I had to sing the song. We chose that song. We didn't have, you know, a big budget to choose between many songs. And this came just perfectly. And uh, and I, I, at, at this point, I think it speaks very nicely on how two human beings can connect because we do that through love, through art, through nature. You know, we connect, that's how we connect. And these two characters being so different, two entirely different human beings, they have so much in common and they don't know that. And they don't need to talk about it. They don't even ask, they, they, they don't have to ask each other any questions to know that they are there for a reason for each other. And you both develop their their friendship and their relationship beautifully. You know, I know that you guys filmed in Alberta, Canada, one of the most beautiful places. Some of my favorite shows and movies are filmed there. I'm honestly just wondering for you as an actor, because it seemed beautiful to film there, but I'm also sure there were some challenges. So what was the best thing about filming in Alberta and what was the hardest and most challenging? Everything was beautiful. Everything was the best <laughs> part of it. Yeah. Um, because, you know, and I love that you call what some other people could call problems or obstacles, you call them challenges. Yeah. And that's how I see it. That's exactly how I see it. Because to me, when it's raining heavily or when, when the wind is unbearable or, or, or when we have, you know, like four feet of snow from one day to another, Instead of seeing that as a problem, you try, you have to embrace nature. So you melt with it. So you become one. You know what I mean? If you, you did it in the hateful eight. <laughs> oh, totally. I was going to say that. You see, that's been the coldest I've ever been under. Oh, you know, wow. and, uh, oh my goodness. That was, that was minus 17 Celsius, which oh, is wow. too much for a tropical fish. Mm -hmm. And, uh, but now going up, uh, staying up in those mountains uh, with so many changes of uh, weather, that alone was so beautiful. And you know what? It talks about the characters. The weather conditions was, was an extra character in the film. Yeah. And that's exactly friend. how we human beings are. Well, sometimes we're, we're you know, uh, there's a, a, a big storm in our brains and hearts. And sometimes it's snowy and beautiful, and sometimes it's nice and uh, springy and uh, and summery, and uh, that's how how we are, just like nature. Wow, I really love that metaphor. I, I knew that, that I saw the scenery as a character in the film, like I said, but I never thought of it that way. And when you said it was so beautiful. Uh, thank thank you. you so much for your time today, Damian. I honestly really love the movie and your performance in it. Thank it shocked you. me at the end. Um, I think that people are really going to love it and it just looks mm. so beautiful. Thank you for your time today and continue to stay safe out there. Oh, thank you for your beautiful words as well. Thank you so thank much. Thank you. Have a good day. Take care. Bye.